When we think Airbnb, a lot of us assume that being an Airbnb host requires some type of upfront financial investment. It requires you to have property or at the very minimum land. Um, and so today I'm actually going to be covering how to make bank on Airbnb without owning property or having any money. This is something that a lot of people ask me about, and it's something that's not really talked about very much in the Airbnb community. So that's what this video is for. Um, if you guys are running into issues starting your own Airbnb business, maybe you're running into a roadblock as far as financially, or um, you know you don't have property, something like that, then watch this video before you go out and invest a ton of money in any type of property and before you make that upfront investment, whether um, you want to rent a place or purchase a property and before you you know pay thousands of dollars to actually furnish that unit, watch this video first. Okay, so by now, of course, we all know that you can make good money hosting on Airbnb. Um, that's no surprise. We see it all the time. Um, I'm an Airbnb host myself. And I can tell you the money is there and the money is good. Um, it almost makes it hard not to be an Airbnb host at this point. Um, but like I said, that is not what this video is about. We're not going to be talking about um, how to acquire property, right? We're not going to be talking about how to furnish it. This video is specifically for those of you who maybe aren't in a financial place to go out and purchase uh, property or rent a unit or furnish an entire place, um, right? So it's, it's for those of you that don't have any money. Um, or at least very limited money, and uh, you don't own any property, land, anything like that, okay, anything that you can actually put on Airbnb. So most people think in order to utilize Airbnb and get the returns that hosts are seeing on Airbnb, that they need property and or money to invest up front. While being an Airbnb host typically does require those things, there is a way to make money on Airbnb without property and without paying an upfront cost. So this is an in-demand opportunity and it's rarely ever talked about within the Airbnb community. So that's why I'm making this video. And current hosts will happily pay you to handle certain tasks for them in their business. With the rapid growth of Airbnb and so many hosts seeing success with their business, short-term rental hosts are drowning right now. They're trying to scale their business but they are stuck spending all their time on daily tasks on the back end. So these are things like responding to guest inquiries, messaging check-in details or checkout details to guests, communicating with cleaners, um, scheduling cleaners in and out of units, communicating with any maintenance personnel. Guys, these things can take time, especially if you're a growing Airbnb host and you're really trying to scale your business. You want to spend your time out there um, you know, finding property, finding good markets. You don't want to be spending your time, um, you know, responding to guest inquiries, messaging guests back and forth. So if you don't believe me, if you don't believe that this is a real problem that hosts are having, um, guys, go look at, at some job boards. Go look at Upwork. Go look at Google Jobs. Indeed, um, these job boards are filled with hosts who are desperately seeking a solution to this very problem. And they are willing to pay a pretty penny for the solution. The solution they need is very simple, guys. It requires no money. It requires no property and absolutely nothing to invest up front. You don't even need to apply for a credit card. So if you're thinking that, you know, you don't need money, but you're going to go take out a, a credit card or a loan, that's, not, again, not what this is about. Um, you don't need credit, anything like that. This literally takes zero money. But there is a catch, okay? So here's the catch. This, uh, this opportunity that I'm going to share with you, it does take some know-how, okay? It does take some skill, and it requires the willingness to learn this business. It does require you to speak fluent English and have a Wi-Fi connection. So those are just some of the logistics. Um, if you're not fluent in English and if you don't have a way to, you know, either a laptop or a smartphone um, or can even go down to the local coffee shop, right? If you don't have a way to, to um, access Wi-Fi, then this is probably not something that you're going to be interested in and it's probably not going to work out for you. Um, so apart from those things, it does not require you to have a college degree. So <clears throat> remember, there's no type of educational requirement here, right? Um, even though you do have to kind of learn the business and you can, uh, you know, learn that from a coach or a mentor 
or you know any type of, of PDF file that can teach you exactly what I'm sharing with you. Um, but it doesn't require you to go to college, have a bachelor's or master's, anything like that. And it doesn't require you to have a real estate license either. All right, so enough suspense. <laughs> You're probably wondering, okay, what is it? Um, what's the opportunity? I know we're, we're limited on time here. So um, what I'm talking about is called co-hosting. So if you're unfamiliar with co-hosting, it's a great way to make money off of short-term rentals and get your foot in the door of Airbnb hosting without requiring you to own or purchase property, without requiring you to fork over any money. So what exactly is co-hosting and how does this all work? How is this possible? So let me break it down for you. A, a co-host is someone who joins a rental platform like Airbnb or VRBO or HomeAway, and they partner up with an Airbnb host. The co-host is the one who's going to handle basic responsibilities for the host, such as responding to guest inquiries, confirming bookings, scheduling cleaners, etc. So all those things that I kind of mentioned at the beginning that are taking a lot of the host's time and uh, making it difficult for them to go out and check out other markets and, and you know expand their business and purchase more property. Um, those are the things that a co-host can jump in and help with, right? It's very easy. You're just answering guest questions and messaging them back and forth, scheduling cleaners. Because most Airbnb hosts are trying to scale their business and don't have time to do these basic daily tasks, they need co-hosts to help them run things behind the scenes. In short, co-hosts handle online communication of a property for the host. This allows them to completely bypass the need to own property themselves or make any kind of financial investment because the host has already taken care of these things. The host already has the property. They've already furnished it, right? They don't, they're not looking for money. They're not looking for an investment. That's not what they need. Um, and as a co-host, the host actually pays you. So instead of you going in and making some investment, you are actually earning income revenue from the host for helping them with their bookings. Co-hosts can earn upwards of 30% on the total booking revenue. Now, this depends, of course, on how many properties you're managing. It depends, depends on what tasks you're doing. Um, and we get all into those details, um, you know, later on. And I have a, a document that's um, you know, linked in the description of this video that talks way more about this, um, you know, your earning potential and, and everything like that, guys. So most co-hosting positions, in case you're wondering, they are fully remote. Like I said, a lot of them, you just need Wi-Fi, a laptop, or a smartphone will do just fine. So these are nine times out of 10 going to be remote positions. And you might have some questions um, about co-hosting. So let's answer some common questions that I get um, all the time about this opportunity. So you might be wondering, how do I know if co-hosting is a fit for me? How much time does co-hosting take? And how am I going to find host partners who will actually pay me for my services? You might also be wondering what exact responsibilities that you need to handle as a co-host. So we're going to cover all that and more in this video, and we're going to keep it short and sweet for you. So don't worry about the time. If you do stay until the end and you want to get started learning more about co-hosting, you can download the co-hosting guide that is located below this video in the description. It goes over every aspect of co-hosting in detail from a beginner's perspective, essentially like having your hand held as you start this journey. So let's answer some of your questions in this video. The first one, how do I know if co-hosting is a fit for me? As a co-host, you'll increase your earnings if you have a passion for hospitality and customer service. Remember, your main responsibilities are going to be communicating via messaging app with potential guests, cleaners, maintenance personnel, and of course, your host partner. You'll need to possess a knack for professionalism, responding quickly to guests and helping answer questions. And of course, you wanna make the guests feel comfortable and heard that's one of the most important things to being able to gain more bookings and increase your share of revenue. Remember, guys, being able to provide great customer service is going to increase the overall bookings for the account or for the property, um, which increases your revenue. <clears throat> and then the next question is, how much time does co-hosting take? This really depends on what type of responsibilities you decide to take on, what services you offer, and how many properties you are going to help manage. 
If you're handling basic communication tasks from a remote position, this should only take one to two hours per day for anywhere between one and five properties. So just to give you a good rule of thumb, right? Anywhere between one and five properties that you're managing will only take an hour or two a day. How much time um, does it take? Again, remember each co-host has different goals. Some co-hosts want to replace their nine to five with a more flexible role where their earning potential is uncapped, whereas others simply want something for a few hours a week to supplement their pre-existing income. Determining your specific goals will help you decide what clients to take, how many properties you want to manage, and what your earning potential can be. All right, the next question is, how do I find host partners who will pay me for my services? Remember, finding a, ho a host partner is not as difficult as you may think. So I walk you guys through that entire process in the guide. There are a lot of different ways to find and approach hosts, and I go through each one of them in that uh, guide in the video, right, or in the description. This often requires you to take initiative, network with hosts, join Airbnb communities online, or you can search those job boards for co-hosting opportunities. So building a strong co-hosting portfolio, a complete bio, and having a professional photo is going to help you find equally professional hosts. Working with various messaging templates that are available in the co-hosting guide in the description will showcase your talents and passion for helping hosts get more bookings and handle their day-to-day -day tasks. Guys, I uh, provided you with the messaging templates, the scripts that you can copy and paste. Um, that way you can send them over to your host partners and increase um, your ability to actually connect with those hosts. The next question is, what exact responsibilities am I going to have to handle? So as you're looking at these various co-hosting jobs and you're connecting with hosts online, you're going to see that their requirements or their needs might vary. Some positions simply want someone to be available to answer guest questions, and other hosts need someone who is local who can actually swing by the property and restock supplies. Guys, that is pretty rare. Um, from all my research and everything, it, it's nine times out of ten they're going to be remote. But there are those hosts who will specify that they want someone local who can swing by the property and just do a quality check. Um, so think about that when you're looking at, at positions as well. You know, is that something you want to offer um, and charge a, a higher percentage for that um, for that additional service, or do you would you rather it be all remote? You want to make sure to read over each job description in detail and think about what responsibilities you want to take on prior to contacting the host. Offering more personalized services might result in you being, being able to charge more. So the more services you offer, guys, um, the more you're going to be able to charge for something like this. So, so far, um, it sounds pretty good, right? Uh, if you want to earn a few extra thousand dollars every single month, and stop worrying about how you're going to pay the mortgage or cover all your bills and finally start living a life that is free of financial worry, all while working only a few hours per week, then co-hosting might be the right fit for you. Co-hosting is a great way to get your foot in the door of the Airbnb business. So if you are someone who's aspiring to be a host, but maybe you're limited on your financial resource right now or the ability to have property, this is a great way to get your foot in the door, right? Learn everything on the back end about Airbnb so that when you're ready to become a host or take that next step, you already you already have, have done the due, dil due diligence. You already know, you know, most of what there is about running an Airbnb business. Um, and then earn an extra few thousand per month for very little time spent. Um, it does require some work. Remember that you must be committed to learning the business and honing your skills. So what that means is just getting better and better, right, at your skills. And everybody starts at kind of a beginner standpoint. So you're going to get better with time. Um, <clears throat> if you can commit to learning this business, then this will mean that you don't have to spend your hard-earned money on pricey real estate. You don't have to spend your money furnishing an Airbnb unit that may or may not be profitable, right? There's a lot of risk as far as getting an Airbnb unit, fully furnishing it, paying for everything, and then wondering if you're going to be able to make ends meet, cover the mortgage, cover the utilities, cover all your bills, and still bring in a profit, right? That's something that Airbnb hosts have to deal with all the time. As a co-host, you won't have those worries. And there's no pressure worrying about if you will make enough to cover those overhead costs. 
Literally all you have to do is handle guest communication from your laptop or smartphone and you get paid a hefty percent of the booking revenue. And the host is freed up of time spent working in their business so that they can focus on scaling. It's a win-win. Now, I know we're short on time. Like I said, I'm going to be keeping this video short and sweet for you guys. So your time is precious. And that's why I have put together the complete co-hosting guide for beginners. It's an educational resource. So this is going to teach you everything you need to start your co-hosting journey. Um, just to give you a, an example here, it teaches you everything from what skills are going to pay you the big bucks um, to those copy and paste messaging scripts to gain access to host partners. It even includes the legal contracts that you'll need to negotiate with a host and tips to increase your revenue down the line. Right now, that guide is on sale, of course. I would not be making this video if it wasn't. Um, it's all current. It's all updated information for 2024. All you have to do is click the link in the description to download that co-hosting guide for beginners. Um, of, of course, comment on this video. Let me know um, your journey and keep me updated. I can't wait to hear about your success as a co-host. Um, please like this video and subscribe as well for more Airbnb content. Thanks, guys.